for your interest in the Australian curriculum, it's really important that we have an update on this issue. We all know that teachers are the experts in developing and implementing curriculum, but ACARA has failed to provide opportunities for teachers to have genuine input into its development. Nearly six months ago, Peter Garrett promised there would be close consultation with the teaching profession and education stakeholders in the next stage of development of the Australian curriculum. The state, territory and federal ministers set out a process for this next stage. They required the development of an overarching framework that assures the place and integrity of all learning areas within the context of the overall school curriculum. We know as teachers this should have been one of the first steps. It should have occurred after the development of a sound rationale underpinning the curriculum. It also should have occurred before the shape papers were released and before the development of curriculum in English, mathematics, science and history. There has been no consultation around this framework. In December last year, teachers in New South Wales said that the curriculum documents in these subjects weren't ready and they were inferior to New South Wales standards. The ministers agreed that teachers would be consulted about further refining and adjusting the curriculum content in English, mathematics, science and history. ACARA has failed to consult. The ministers also decided that there should be a common approach to achievement standards. Again, ACARA has failed to identify what part teachers will play in establishing this approach to achievement standards and to provide any opportunity for teacher input. Despite each and every one of these failures, it appears that ACARA is continuing to develop the Australian curriculum. We know that teachers must have an input into what we teach and what our students learn. So the Federation is hosting a symposium on the Australian curriculum on the 18th of June. We are inviting members from a diverse range of schools and learning areas to come to the symposium and provide their expertise and input into what we believe ACARA should do in terms of first, the overarching framework. Secondly, how they should further refine and adjust the existing curriculum content in English, maths, science and history. And lastly, how they should develop a common approach to achievement standards. The Federation has also invited representatives from professional teacher associations, principal groups, the PNC, AECG and the Independent Education Union to attend the symposium. We are determined to give teachers and education stakeholders a voice in what our students will learn. It's time for ACARA to listen. <music>